Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to another analyzing video. In today's video I'll be analyzing one of my teammates and his name is Out. The intro was a little introduction to Out, he edited that video and as you can see he really likes to troll me. Out is an MK player on PC and probably one of the best players from Italy. He recently started playing on a second account because he got a harem on it, but he is a multiple time threat. Out is a super energetic player and just very good overall, super aggressive and likes to play risky in order to get knocks. In today's video I will show two games for him where he's playing together with players from my discord community and they are very fun to watch. The first game will be on overflow and the second game will be on habitat. Especially on habitat he shows why he's so good because he's playing against top rats there. I hope you enjoy the video and let's start. So the first round of overflow will be on house side and he instantly grapples in to take control over center and the house. It's a really nice gives them a big advantage and Pathfinder is the best character to do so. Maybe with Octane in a jump pad you can be a little bit quicker but Pathfinder can just do it with his Q so this is a very nice. As you can see look for a really nice angle and out uh, and his team have full control over house and center. This is really nice, works really well in their favor. And the uh, Sears can comes in really clutch to zone out the Newcastle over there. This is really nice, he instantly recognizes he split away from his team and gets him out of the game. So at this point this is a uh, 3v1 for out and his team. Super nice, unfortunately Balling gets knocked but it's still 2v1. Facebook is a bit low but out just instantly pushes him. And some really nice aim, gets us here basically one, and they finish off the sir and win the round. Really well played by Art. Right, moving up to the second round, this will be on the open side of Overflow. And he instantly grapples again to take positional advantage. And the nice thing at Pathfinder is that you can hold the head glitch here. And this uh, pretty much denies the enemy team from moving in any further. They could be moving in from right side. But uh, Out is uh, smart enough and holds his headpiece here, so this side is uh, all covered up. The Seer was AFK, he moves in right now, and since Out is still here, they can maintain their positional advantage and uh, hold center. Out does get cracked, so uh, his teammates move in to protect him. But uh, this uh, means they're all on left side of uh, center, so they probably should move to the right side to cover more angles, and Out understands this, as you can see. Moves to the right, flanks to the right and gets a really nice knock in turn for it, so this was a really smart play by him. Grabs in, gets really aggressive, gets this Newcastle out of the game. And now it's just one left. Last one over there and he kills him for the triple kill. Really nice play by Out. Alright, moving up to the third round. Out will just cripple again. And then take control over center and head glitch the bin over there. Since the enemy team uh, doesn't have any mobility uh, besides uh, Maggie's ball, they can just contest that. And this is really hard for the enemy team. Uh, they're basically at a disadvantage as a start of every round here. And uh, this is really nice for out, of course. They hold the white angles too, and as you can see, the Seer is already pushing in on a crack. And he gets a knock there. This is really nice. He sees the Seer there. He's waiting for uh, the friendly Seer to push him, but unfortunately the Seer moved all the way to uh, Bale and knocks him. But amazing shots there on uh, the Seer, followed up by less amazing shots. But you know, just punching him works too, and he wins the round. So, like mentioned before, the second game will be on Habitat, and he is playing with again two people from my Discord server. And they will be playing against uh, a Pathfinder and a Seer who are both Preds. And the Maggie, I'm not really sure who it is, but uh, surely this is a really good team. So it should make for a really exciting match. So in the first round, out uh, takes his grapple and uh, moves to the offside. Looks for some enemy to scout, but uh, the enemies uh, just go zone. And Top St. Martin will go to the right too. Out is now on a pretty good spot to take a sneaky off angle, but unfortunately Martin and Tops need to disengage. Since this is a Pratt team, they will instantly push when you recognize uh, someone being on off angle. This is a really smart play on their part, so you can force like a 2v3. And unfortunately Out is now forced to low ground. This is putting them at a, quite a disadvantage, but we will see how he will deal with it. 
So you see Tops is uh, moving up and Out is smart enough to easily move in to protect Tops and uh, get some unexpected shots in because the raid doesn't expect uh, Out to be there and challenge him. Moves around for a different angle, get some really nice shots in there. Did with some P2020 shots, but uh, he left him uh, one shot and one enemy also got knocked. So now it's a 2v1 with one guy being one. And they really should win this, of course. And they do. Nice. Nicely played by Out. So moving up to the second round. I think uh, Out was AFK for a moment, so uh, he loses his... It's a uh, speed advantage that he can get with uh, Pathfinder, so the enemy team will now have control over Bin. This is really unfortunate because it's uh, a disadvantage at the start. As you can see, he gets cracked here and he really needs to heal because with Hammer Point you can just get two tapped like this uh, within uh, like a half a second. And unfortunately, Tops got knocked for it. He was alone there at Bin and he probably got double pushed there. So the best play you can make right now is to instantly move to Martin. Martin did get a knock. This is really nice for out and one is cracked there. So he can instantly push this guy, get him out of the game, and now it's a 1v1. The other old enemy was uh, right on him and he is almost cracked, so he grapples away, takes one cell. And the last enemy is in reviving, so he can get some free shots in. And he, with some three really nice shots, uh, he was one, and one more shot to get him out of the game. Really well played by Adam. So moving up to round number three. He doesn't grapple in, which uh, I think is interesting because he can just uh, gain positional advantage over the enemies. So we'll see what he will make from it. He will arc the cover from the enemies and the enemies uh, decide to take an off angle and share ult them. This is a really interesting play. It's really smart from out to uh, instantly disengage this because he would get out angled really quickly there. He stays with Martin. Really nice wall jump to take height here and play cover. He does get cracked. But he tries to leverage uh, that uh, the enemies are focusing his teammate to get some free shots in. It really didn't work out, but uh, I respect the play. It's, uh, it's smart. Well, put through. At this point, Tops got a knock. Martin got a knock, so now it's a 3v1. And uh, of course, they should just win this. Out does get really aggressive here. And there is the last opponent. Unfortunately, he whiffs all his shots. Uh, it's probably not a play he should have made, should have waited for his teammates, but uh, Tops is still alive and full and they nice. win the round. Bad, so these were the games from out. I really hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. I hope to see you next time and have a great rest of your day. Cheers!